This video is all about how parents can help their child to communicate through everyday activities at home. This video is called Don't Test Me, Tell Me. My son, Isaac, is three years old. He knows all his animal noises and some are their names, but he doesn't always say them. He's so clever, he can go and get things for me from around the house when I asked him to. When we read his story together at bedtime, he can point to all the things I name, but when I ask him to tell me their names, he just ignores me and turns the page. I love books about animals. My granda has cows at his house. I love going to feed the baby cows. Granda likes to check how many animals I know. I know what word that goes back, but I don't know its name yet. I like it when Granda tells me the names of all the animals. Children understand words before they are able to use them. That's why Isaac can go and get things from around the house when his mummy asks, but can't tell her what the things are called yet. As parents, we are keen to teach our children as many words as possible. We do this by quizzing them about the things they see. For example, what's that called? Who's that? What's he doing? Where's she going? What did he do? Or what happened? What are you doing? Adults are excellent quiz masters, but for our children, this can feel like a constant test and is not always helpful. Questions can be useful in finding out the answers to things that you don't know, but test questions are not useful in helping your child to learn new words. Imagine visiting a country where you don't speak the language. Imagine how difficult it would be for you to communicate. What would help you to understand and learn this new language? Would it be helpful for someone to constantly ask you the name of things? What's that? What is it? Do you remember what that's called? Or would it be more helpful for someone to tell you the name of the thing that you're looking at? And how much more helpful would it be to hear the same words repeated many times throughout the day? Words that we hear often are the ones we find easiest to understand and then say. Names we don't hear very often can be difficult for us to remember and say. Children need to hear words lots and lots of times before they understand them and they need to hear them many more times before they will say them. So rather than asking your child test questions, to which you already know the answer, tell them the words for the things that they are looking at and repeat them lots of times. Don't test me, tell me.